Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, today we're going to create a couple of cards. We're using some dies that are part of a new collection this month over at Spellbinders. It's part of the Color Block Backgrounds collection. Um, I think these are neat because of the size for one. They're slimline size. Um, this one here is the Color Block Slimline Edges. And I love borders, and this has a large scallop edge, and then it also has a fun a zigzag edge. They create a real neat pattern on the front of the, um, the packaging here, which is pretty neat. And then they also have the Color Block Cloudscape, which creates beautiful um, clouds. And so I thought we would create um, a few cards. Not slimline, um, just A2 size cards using a couple of these. So what we're going to do is start out by die cutting. And we're going to use white cardstock to die cut out. I'm going to use the large scallop edge here. And I'm going to die, die cut it out twice. And with my panels here, I want to create a full cloudy background. So I'm going to basically go edge here edge and then I'll flip it around and do another edge and I'm going to take the smaller one and we'll create a corner with this and I'll do the same with this corner. Now while I'm at it too I'm going to die cut out some circles using some colored cardstock. Um, I thought we would create a rainbow. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to create a rainbow. Um, using some basic dyes that you have in your stash. I'm using Wildberry Persimmon, and then um, this is the brand new chamomile. It's real pretty yellow, and we'll use Rainforest. And I'm kind of torn between the Teal Topaz or the um, Raindrop. Let's see, I think I'm going to use the Raindrop. And I'm just going to use some circle dies and, and start off with a large circle and then maybe skip a size and then I'll I'll die cut out a whole bunch of circles with, with these. So I have a lot of die cutting to do. I'm going to run these through my die cut machine and I'll be right back. So I have everything die cut and we're going to create a quick and easy rain. But oh, you can see how I created two layers here. It's kind of hard to see white on white. But I thought we could overlap and leave a little bit of a gap. Um, on our card base. Now to create the rainbow you can see I die cut out um, some circles and they're evenly spaced. We're just going to use the tape runner and we're going to adhere them all together. We're going to make it quick and easy and we're going to use one of these circles to create both of our cards. So we're going to multi-purpose. <laughs> We'll layer our rainforest. And the nice thing about layering all the circles together um, is you have a little bit of dimension. There's actually five together. I'm uh, Speaking of five, I don't think five will go through my cardstock or my, my paper trimmer. Let's put these aside and bring in that paper trimmer. Um, it's a four inch circle, so I'm going to cut at the two inch mark. And so we have two halves, and then one of those halves, I'm going to take this back to the two inch mark, just making sure it's a two inch, and I'm going to cut it again. And I'm going to do the same with this one, although I have adhesive. Um, instead of the two inch mark, what size? We have to measure our circle size. This is a two and a half inch circle. The yellow is the chamomile, so I'm two and a half inch, so we need to trim this at one and a quarter. A little math involved, but no worries. I have adhesive still on here. So we'll just tack this down. And then this one we'll do the same. I'll trim this at the one and a quarter inch mark. Three is a little tough because you know card, the Spellbinders cardstock is a little bit um, it's heavy duty, which is really nice. But we got it. I'm going to go ahead and layer this back on our quarter pieces. So 
So we have two quarter and one two quarter and one half. Quick and easy rainbows, right? <laughs> Who would have thought? Now um I'm gonna take some of my waterfall cardstock and I'm gonna use my embossing folder. This is the plaid company. And I'm gonna run this through and emboss a plaid background using, again, the waterfall card stock. Now that my panel is embossed, you can see how pretty that is. I wanted to do, I'm gonna leave this white. And when I did take this, this out, I went all the way to the edge so they're evenly spaced. But I wanna add a little bit of texture to these um, die cut pieces. So I'm bringing in another embossing folder and I'm also going to use the Plaid Company once more. I'm going to use the Diagonal Stripe Slimline. And I'm going to take the two largest. And I think we can squeeze stripes. them in there. And then I'm going to emboss these pieces with the Plaid Company. We'll add a little texture to our cloudy background. I'm going to run these through my Platinum 6 and I'll be right back. So we have some stripes here. And then we have some plaid here. A little bit of variation. And I think that looks great. Let's go ahead and start by taking this as a two size regular panel of waterfall cardstock. I'm going to adhere this directly to my card base for card number one. Make sure it opens up the right way. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take this striped embossed panel. Let's zoom in a little bit. And we're going to adhere that to our solid background. And I'll do the same with our bottom stripe panel. I'm thinking I don't want to adhere the top just yet because I'm going to tuck my rainbow underneath here. Okay, I tucked my rainbow underneath this bottom cloud, just making sure that straight edge was tucked underneath there. Since our cardstock is five layers thick, there is a little bit of a bump here, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. I think it's tacked down pretty good. I am going to add a little bit of dimension with these pieces by popping these up with some foam adhesive. I need to open up a new package of foam squares here. I like to trim my foam squares in thirds, that way they fit on my, my desk little container and it's easier for me to work with it. I'm going to cut a thin strip for this bottom edge, so I'm going to set that aside. We'll stamp our sentiment. So there is a big hello from you to me and I did remove this plaid and put a solid white um, underneath. And then I removed this plaid cloud. This way I can go ahead and add this one directly on my stripes. I needed a home to stamp my sentiment and this was the best way to do that. So let's add our sentiment down here. And then we can go ahead and replace our plaid. And I have multiple layers, which is really nice, but not too much bulk. We're going to go ahead and add some crystal gems. Um, in the crystal mix, there is like some cloudy white ones, and then there's an iridescent one. I'm using the cloudy ones. And then we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of sparkle using our crystal mix. I think that looks good. Now I'm going to set this aside and we're going to work on our second card. We have that um, 
the waterfall embossed panel. I'm going to go ahead and tr actually we're going to take the paper trimmer. Okay. So I have a one and a half inch strip by four and a quarter. And then we have a two and a half inch strip by four and a quarter. We have, so we're going to basically leave a gap on our card base. So let's flip both of these over and we'll add some adhesive behind it. Grab our card base. The one and a half inch strip is going to go on the very top of our card base. Make sure it opens the right way. And then I'll add the bottom. And I need to trim my card base a little bit, so let's bring this back. Good deal. Now we have our our scallops here. I'm gonna I'm gonna lightly tack this one to the bottom, and then I'm gonna lightly tack this one to the top. And I'm going to flip it around. And then I'm going to trim off the excess. Now that we have our scallops adhered, well, they're lightly tacked. Um, well, we can leave that one there. We are going to stamp our sentiment, but I want to make sure that my rain, oh, let's, let's trim this off a little bit better. I want to make sure that my rainbow, since we're going to, we're going to overlap it. We're going to, let's see, we'll overlap this one on the bottom. We're going to stamp our sentiment right here. We are going to glue down our, I'm going to give this a little time to dry and in the meantime we're going to glue down this top edge of our rainbow to our scallop so let's let's add this edge to edge we'll just hold that down I'm going to use my tweezers, my reverse tweezers. Let's make sure it's straight. Because this needs to go along this edge. And then... This needs to go along here. Once we have it straight, I'm going to see... I'm going to hold that down with my reverse tweezers. I'm going to do the same thing to this one. So I'm going to line this rainbow up here, edge to edge. The curve is on the inside. And then I'm going to add a thin bead of glue. Okay, I think this is dry. What we're going to do now is we're going to flip this over. We're going to add some foam tape behind it. I'm going to add one more piece here in the middle. I don't want to add any foam foam to the top because that's where it's going to overlap on our other scallop. I'm actually going to add a, some tape. So we'll remove the release paper and I'll add this to the top with my rainbow, uh, rainbow edge over here. And I'm going to line up this edge down here and then we'll do the same and then we're going to adhere this on the bottom and we're going to flip up this rainbow here and tuck it on, um, over the scallop and I'm going to do the same to the top you see I think it just looks more playful with the rainbow on the outside of the scallops I just think that looks super fun. For just using circle dies, he creates a real fun rainbow. For this one, I want to add 
a couple of my color essential gems. We're going to use those same clear ones and we're going to add a couple here. So these are my cards today using the Spellbinders Color Block Backgrounds Collection, a couple items. Pretty simple, clean looking cards, but I think if there's a, so much you can do with your border dies, break them out, um, and also with your circle dies. Super easy to create rainbows. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for joining me.